Hey guys, so uh, this is my part of my next video. I wanted to show you how I do my makeup uh, for cosplay stuff, just for every day or what have you. Uh, this is by no means the professional way of doing makeup. This is just how I do it. I learned from tutorials online, just by looking at other people's pictures and creeping on our makeup addiction on the Reddit. So you are uh, free to watch. I included a product list in the bottom part if you want to see the things I was using. Um, you can use any colors you want, whatever is comfortable, whatever is good for your skin color, so yeah, hope you enjoy! Okay, so we're starting off here with our primer. <clears throat> I'm using MAC Prep and Prime, and I'm just applying it with a foundation brush that I bought off of BH Cosmetics. Next, we're doing cover-up, and I uh, use Max Light Cover-Up for my concealer in the uh, lightest color, which is uh, NW15, because I'm super pale. Uh, I'm pretty much just getting my under eye, and um, a little bit above my eye, and then around my eyebrows, a little bit in my T-zone, um, and then at my chin. Um, I have super bad under eye bags, so that's why I'm spending some nice time there. And I'm gonna stop every now and then in the video here and uh, show you what I look like. Um, for uh, foundation, I did MAC Studio Sculpt in their lightest color as well, NC15. And I'm using uh, the same brush I used for my primer just to pretty much apply that all the way around. Just so we could start with a nice even slate before I start doing a eyeshadow and all that junk. And to apply this, I usually just put uh, use my hand as a palette and I kind of squirt the makeup on there and apply them there. Though if you have like a little mirror or whatever, you could do that as well. Next, I'm using MAC Studio Care Blend Pressed uh, in light, which is the lightest color. And it's just the powder I use to finish off the foundation and kind of seal it all in. Uh, next, I'm using MAC Paint Pot in uh, Bare Study, and it's pretty much just a really good primer before you put your eyeshadow on, and I just use my middle finger and kind of smear it all around. So I have uh, three brushes that I'm going to use for uh, my eyeshadow. You could use whichever you're comfortable with. I bought mine from uh, BH Cosmetics. Uh, here I'm starting with... Um, MAC in Silver Ring, and I'm just putting silver all over the lid. Next, I'm going to be using MAC in Black Tide, and I'm going to be getting in the creases and uh, kind of in the corner just to get that extra defined smoky eye look. And you could blend this out later, so if it looks a little too harsh, you could get extra brush and just kind of blend it out like it is there. After that, I went in my uh, kind of under eyelash area using Black Tide to get around you know, the whole kind of raccoon look, because I like looking like a raccoon. Blend it a little bit more. And next I'm using uh, Forgery in the corner of my eye and all around uh, to kind of blend. It's pretty much just a really uh, pale iridescent white, so I think it makes a nice finish. Next I'm using a little white stick. This particular one's just a Korean one I got at a store, and it just makes a really nice white in the middle. You're going too fast, Monica! Um, <laughs> next I'm using uh, Floof. It's a uh, really bright kind of a pink white to, for the corner and then after that I'm putting gold in the arches of my eyes or my eyebrows and uh, that's gonna make your eyes look bigger. Yeah, eyeshadow. Blend, blend, blend. Next I'm doing my eyebrows. Um, since I have red hair, I'm coloring them in red with a matte uh, Sephora uh, eyeshadow. I actually bought this for my little sister cosplay and it worked out really well. You could also use a pencil along with color if you want to go with a more, uh, more bold statement, but this is pretty easy if I'm lazy. 
So pretty much if you have any other costumes that have, you know, green hair, purple hair, you could use that color eyeshadow and fill in your eyebrows. Next, I'm using uh, NYX Two Timer in Jet Black. It has a uh, coal liner pencil, and then the other end is a uh, liquid liner. Um, I used to use a little Maybelline paint pot, and it wasn't really working out too well for me, so I bought this a couple of weeks ago, and I really like it. So I'm getting pretty much all around my eye, and then halfway from uh, the far corner to the inside of my bottom lash. And I'm also uh, tight lining. That way everything's nice and black. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna use the eyeliner and I'm gonna make my cat eye and then kind of go over um, some of the eyeliner so it's more defined in black. This part you have to be super careful because when it's wet, the uh, liquid eyeliner is not very forgiving. <laughs> Next, I'm using the uh, San Francisco palette uh, from BH Cosmetics. They have a whole line of uh, palettes for the different cities of California. And this particular one, I really like their, uh, their blush and bronzer and highlighter set. So I'm using the brown to kind of contour my sides and my cheekbones and then underneath my jawbone. They have uh, you know, those to contour my cheekbones and then a really nice uh, dark red I like using. And I use their uh, white portion to highlight my T-zone area, my cheekbones, and a little bit of my chin. And then the blush just for some color. And then next I'm using uh, Maybelline Great Lash in Blackest Black. I like it because it's easy to use, so you know I go up at the top, I try to get as much as possible, and then I do a little bit underneath. Normally at this point, um, if I was doing my cosplay makeup, I would be using uh, some uh, fake eyelashes, but at this point I was just going out and I was too lazy to put on eyelashes because I hate them. Uh, so now we're doing some lip color. I'm just using a Maybelline lip liner. Uh, in the color rose. They have um, some better lip liners from like MAC and whatnot, but this is nice and cheap, so I was using this. So just kind of get around the edges. And then I'm using a MAC in Twig, a nice neutral color. Some people like to apply with a brush, but I prefer just applying it with, you know, my hands and kind of cleaning it up with a, a little piece of tissue and then maybe a brush. And then when you're done, you finish it all off with final seal. I use a Ben Nye final seal. It's nice and minty. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Um, feel free to check out the uh, photo description in the bottom. I'm sorry I said um a lot. I wasn't really focusing on the video. Um, but you could check out the products there. Uh, feel free to tailor you know, the foundations and concealers to whatever color suits you and your, uh, your skin tone. And... I'm going to disclaimer this again, by no means is the professional way to do things. I learned all my stuff online. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to shoot them down in the comments. Thank you.